Hi everyone and welcome to another Elementor tutorial. Today I want to show you how to create this uh, cool looking page of snowboarding and skiing resorts. This is a part of a set of pages which we released in our library and you can use it and customize it as you see fit. And on top of all I'm gonna show you how to make this step by step from scratch. For this page we're gonna be using the Astra theme just because it's uh, simple, it's fast, it's easy to use, fully customizable and it's very easy to recommend. So, we have a top section with a big title, some text and a cool background, feature section with an image slider, this informative section with a big title, some text and a call to action. We have this uh, nice looking uh, infographical section with a small testimonial and some neat looking icons, a client's testimonial section, and it ends with this uh, nice footer with some social icons and a sign up form. So I'll begin with adding a new page, call it home. Publish it and I go straight to the Elementor editor. I'm gonna begin with a new section divided into two columns. This will be our big header section, so I'm gonna set the mean height of 85VH. Choose an image background. And we're gonna center it and align it to the bottom. This will be our main title. We're gonna be using a font called the uh, Catamaran and this will be the font used throughout uh, the whole website. So I'm going to make this heading real big. And I'm going to drag the leftmost column so our title won't break a line. Make the spacing real tight. This will be our text field. I'm just going to size and stylize it properly. Now I'm going to add some padding. 25 from the left and 240 from the right just to make this text field look more like a paragraph and I'm gonna add a small border from the left and paint it red So I added some top margin to our title to push all the content downwards and I also added some padding just to make the whole box of this title bigger and that will be needed in order to drag our title. Now I added a new image of uh, these uh, clouds which you can't see right now but by adding a negative margin to this image I'm gonna be able to push it upwards until it's placed upon our title and it gets this uh, cool uh, snowy clouds effect. Some bottom margin for our text so it won't be too close to the edge. Now as you can see our text looks a little bit unreadable so in order to solve that I'm gonna go to the text advanced settings and choose a gradient background make it radial I'm gonna adjust the settings a little bit I'm 
and eliminate the second color. This will put a small fade under our text which will emphasize it. There, looks good. Next up is our feature section. So I'm gonna set some uh, mean height. And change the color of the background to a dark gray color. Now I'll drag in the title and change its content. With the new inline editing feature, this becomes uh, very fast and easy to do. And now I'm going to stylize it. We'll make it real tight. So I just want to change the color of a single word inside our, our title so I'm gonna paste in this uh, short CSS code. I put these little tags around uh, the word of which I want to change the color of. Now I'm gonna duplicate our text field I'm gonna center it and eliminate all the margins and the paddings, which I don't need right now. Same goes for the border. Change its color to white and I'm gonna remove the grading in the background. Replace the content. Now I'll drag in a media carousel. This will be a carousel showcasing our resorts, so I'm gonna paste in some images. Now I'm gonna adjust the height and the width of our slides. And here we have some additional options uh, like the pagination and I'm gonna select an overlay and choose text so we will have a text overlay when we hover over our slides now I can uh, stylize it and if you want to see exactly what I did here you can uh, decrease the speed of the video Now our slides have a nice overlay to them, once you hover over. And I'm just going to add some uh, paddings and margins to make spacing between everything. Now I'm going to add an image as a background overlay and choose our wintry clouds once again. Size it to cover and adjust the opacity. And this just adds another small touch of winter which adds to our overall look and feel. Our next section is going to have some more information about our re resorts. So I'm gonna start off with a double column section, adjust its mean height and place an image background. Size it to cover, position it to the bottom right. And I'll just duplicate our heading and our text field. I'm gonna change their color and replace the content. Eliminate all the margins and uh, the paddings that we won't need. I'll also drag in another heading which will be kind of a secondary title and the button and I'm going to adjust them. 
So now I'm gonna speed this part up, so if you want to see what happens there, you can decrease the speed of the video. So our next section is going to be an about us area with a small testimonial, some text and icons. I'm gonna start off with a new section, once again divided into two columns. I'll drag in a testimonial, change its content. And I'll load in this nice image. And now I'll adjust it real quick. Now for the next column I'm just going to drag in a columns widget. Use a single column. And by dragging the leftmost column, I can make it one third of the overall width. Now I'll once again duplicate our main heading and our text area. By doing this, it speeds up our web design process immensely. I'm just going to change the colors of the items and uh, replace their content. To keep both of the colors in our heading, I'm just going to select each word and change it separately. Now I'm going to use the same trick we used in our header section. I'm gonna give the column uh, paddings from the left and the right side and set a small border from the left. Now we're going to create a section with four icon boxes. So I'll add in a new section, paint the background to our previously used dark gray color and drag in an image box widget. I'm going to change the content and adjust its style to make it look beautiful and duplicate it four times. There, now our section looks awesome. Just realized I made a typo in there. So before we move on to our next section, I'm going to create an image divider just to keep the content from uh, being too dense. So I'll paste a new section, set its mean height to 300 pixels. And I'm going to load in this cool looking image size it to cover and place it in the middle. I'm going to set it as fixed so now when we scroll down the image is being revealed to us. 
time to move on to our testimonial carousel section. Let the new section immediately duplicate the upmost heading. I'm going to change its content and the color. So now I'll drag in a testimonial carousel, choose image above and adjust its width. Now I'll load in some images and change the content and after that I can customize everything beginning with the image and moving on to the text. And there you have it, now our testimonial carousel looks good and works great. Now we can go on and add in the footer. I'm going to create a new section with the three columns, change the background color to a dark one. And I'm going to set the leftmost column, take up 50% of the overall width. Now I'll just drag in a forms widget, some social icons and a small subheading. And I'm going to customize them properly. Here I'm going to set in an image as a background overlay and it's an image I've uh, prepared previously. I'm gonna size it to cover and position it to the center right. And by adjusting the opacity, it blends in beautifully with our background. Now with the footer finished, our website looks great, all that's left is making it mobile responsive and we're gonna do just that. So I'm going to start off with sizing the heading, I'll make it uh, way smaller, position it to the center. And I'm gonna set new margins for this heading. Same goes for the image. Mm -hmm. 
Now the text field is also going to be centered which will make it organized and I'm gonna set new margins and paddings and adjust its size. I'm going to set a new padding from the left to push it away from the border. Now by manually adjusting the negative margins of uh, the image I'm going to make it placed upon the text again. For the next section I'm going to set the column gap to no gap so we can define the gaps ourselves. I'm gonna change the size of our heading and our text. We're gonna set new margins and paddings for most of the elements. Now for the media carousel, I'm going to eliminate the margins and the paddings to give it some uh, new ones. And by adjusting the width and the size of the arrows, I can make it more narrow. For this next section, I'm going to start off with uh, zeroing out the margins and the paddings and adjusting the sizes and the alignment of our uh, text elements. Same goes for the button. Now I'm going to select the section, uh, choose advanced and go to the responsive tab and here I can reverse the columns which will make the column with the content be the bottom column. I'm going to give a margin of 400 pixels to the top of our column which will push the image to the side and this will prevent it from covering our content. There, now our section looks nice and organized and it is also readable. For this next section I'm going to do pretty much the same thing. Now for our icon box section, again I'm going to begin with zeroing out the padding and setting a new one and I'm going to select each column and set its column width to 50%. This will make every row contain two icon boxes and it makes it look more organized. To emphasize that effect, I'm also going to center them. Add some bottom padding. There, now it looks much better. Now this image doesn't really have the same effect on mobile, so we're gonna go to the responsive tab in the advanced options and choose hide it on mobile, so now it's hidden. Now for the next section I'm going to do pretty much what I've done up until now, zero out and adjust the paddings and the margins and decrease the sizes of the texts. Now for the footer I'm going to increase the row gap just to increase the spacing between the form field and the button and I'm going to center the text and the icons and set some proper margins and paddings for this section.
There, now everything looks good and narrow. Now that we've finished adjusting everything for the mobile device, you can see that the content looks much more organized and readable and overall everything looks much better. As I mentioned before, you can download this template from our library along with other cool design tools. I want to thank you for watching this video, please subscribe to our channel for more awesome content. This was Ilya from Elementor and have a nice day!